In this video, I'm going to talk about the electron domain geometry and molecular geometry of hybrid orbitals. So, in the previous video, I introduced the three main hybrid orbitals, sp3, sp2, and sp. But I said that I would talk about its shape in the following video. So that's so the EG, EDG and MG or electron domain geometry and molecular geometry are what represent its shape. So as in the previous video I'm going to separate each into the different or orbitals. So first sp3. And as you may recall from the previous video this is how, what an sp3 orbital looks like and the name of that shape is tetrahedral. So every and any molecule that has sp3 hybridization has an electron domain geometry that is tetrahedral. And what the electron domain geometry is, it just refers to the arrangement of electrons uh, of electron pairs around the central atom. So arrangement of electron pairs around the central atom. And I also mentioned another type of geometry called molecular geometry or MG and that just refers to the arrangement of the atoms around the central atom. So it's basically the opposite. Actually not really the opposite but this one just refers to atoms whereas the EDG refers to electron pairs and they are very different things so let's do an example for this there are four different names for the electron geometry and, mol and molecular geometry the electron geometry the EDG stays constant for each hybrid orbital but the molecular geometry is what changes so it's good to make a table so I'm going to write the structure first. Then EDG, then MG. So, for the first case, let's just say we have carbon in the middle, and it's just bonded to hydrogens. So we said that the EDG for the hybrid orbitals is a constant and that for sp3, because this molecule is sp3, uh, it will be tetrahedral. So whenever you see something that is bonded to four different things that have four different bonds, including electron pairs, it will be sp3 tetrahedral so we'll do practice problems in the following video now in this case the molecular geometry because the number of atoms is bonded to is the same as the number of electron pairs it will also be tetrahedral now let's go to the second case in the second case we have a carbon and in this case it's only bonded to three hydrogens so 
so we have our electron pair right here and the EDG stays the same, it's still sp3 but the molecular geometry will change because now instead of having four atoms bonded to the central atom it has only three and that will be called a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry and well you can the name comes from the you can see a pyramid right here so it's like a pyramid and this doesn't count because it's an electron pair so that's why it's called trigonal pyramidal and there are two more cases so our third case represents we're, I'm going to use the, the same example for each in this case we only have two hydrogens bonded to the to the carbon so we'll have our electron pair right here and our electron pair right here then we have one pointing out one pointing in, I, sorry one pointing out So the EDG stays the same, tetrahedral. But the molecular geometry, now we only have two atoms bonded to the central atom, and that is called a bent geometry. But it's also called V shaped. And the second one is easier to remember because this just looks like a V. Or you just call it bent B shape because it's a bent V, but it's it's the same. And well, we have one more case for sp3, and it's when it's only bonded to one hydrogen. So we have an electron pair here, an electron pair here, an electron pair here. And then we have one hydrogen pointing in. So one more time, the EDG the EDG doesn't change if it's the same hybridization. And in this case, it's just a line. So as you may guess, the name of this molecular geometry is linear. And that's sp3. Now let's move to sp2. sp2. And, SP th and that's how SP2 looks like. It kind of just looks like the Mercedes Benz sign. It, it will always be like, it will always have that shape. And it will be bonded to three things or less. So, doing the same as we did in SP3, I'm going to. The, the, first, the EDG for this is called trigonal planar. Because as you may, as you can see from in the top view, it's pretty, it's pretty flat, and it just looks like a triangle. So, it's a flat triangle, and that's what trigonal planar means. But a good way to remember it is just by thinking of the Mercedes-Benz logo. So let's do our, our table. The SP2, there's only three cases because they cannot be bonded to four atoms. Structure, KG, MG. I'm going to try to make it smaller to make it all fit here. So using carbon again. Actually, let's not use carbon because that that wouldn't make sense. Car carbon likes being bonded to more things. So let's use boron. Boron is a very good example for this because it likes having three atoms bonded to it, and it will be. We'll use fluorine. And 
this won't feel like this. Boring. Um, we said that the EDG is still on player. And because there's three bonded atoms, the EDG will be equal to the molecular geometry, so it will also be trigonal planar. Our second case is when it's one to two atoms. So, one here, one here, and he has an electron pair here. That will also be a general planar. EDG doesn't change. And the molecular geometry will be bent. Like what we saw for SP3 when it had two atoms wanted to it. And well finally when it has only one bond, that will be When he has only one atom to it, sorry, that's to it. It will also be general planar, but the molecular geometry will be linear. So some of the names can go from sp3 to sp2. And finally, we have our SP hybrid orbital, which pretty much just looked like line, but it really was something like this, or a very small one here, and a long one, because that's SP, S is a small sphere, and P is a lobe, and then the opposite, small on the other side, but that doesn't really matter. I, I explained all of that in the previous video. So, let's do the same as we did for the other two cases. Actually, it wouldn't really make sense to do that. Because, let me give you, let me show you an, an example of what uh, an SP hybridized orbital looks like. An example. So, we have a carbon here. So this is a line, and that's a not a very straight line, but it's it's a line. So the EDG and the MG will be linear. Usually, SP hybridized orbitals have either a triple bond or two double bonds. So they will be a line. Every time you see an, an SP hybridized orbital, it will be a line and its geometry will always be linear. So another example is this. This one has a triple bond. And we have it on two hydrogen here. On two hydrogen. So you can see again it's a line. And well, those are the Molecular geometry and electron domain geometry names for each of the main hybrid orbitals. If, and I will be solving practice problems in the following video to recognize how to make it. Hybridization needs practice and looking at big molecules and identifying different hybridizations can be sometimes hard, but practice makes it easier. So, if you found the video helpful, like it and share it with your friends.